I'm sure you guys have been wondering what is the best bot line skins in the game. What bot line skins should you just be going for? You know, especially in the Royal Coin Shop or just during events where all the skins come like on sale. But look no further. In this video, you're gonna find out the top 10 best bot line skins in the game, plus a couple more if that actually suits your taste. So if you guys enjoyed this video, ring the like button, subscribe. Hope you guys some guys. Let's get right to the video. All right, so coming in 10th place is gonna be the Ren Shiki Ruby skin. Now this skin's gonna be on this list simply because it is the most unique Ren Shiki skin in the game. It does actually change Ren Shiki how Ren Shiki looks a lot like the gold one kind of looks a lot like the original one but the Ren Shiki Ruby does look a lot different for some reason with the Ruby one specifically they do actually make them look a lot different from the original and Ren Shiki Ruby is no stranger to that Ren Shiki Ruby looks a lot better than normal Ren Shiki plus I do think the red aesthetic fits a lot better for the second mode like the golem's eyes being red is very 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 cool and I definitely think this deserves a spot in the top 10 list now coming in ninth place is going to be Minikaze Azur now Minikaze Azur is going to be in this list because I do think that light blue is a lot better than yellow and minikaze in general is just a really really visually pleasing bloodline which is actually a reason why so many people like it just because it is a very 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 visually pleasing bloodline also recently it did receive a buff so there's that that's actually very cool the actual ability um they still haven't increased the size of the throwable so it's still really hard to click on it but it's blue you know that's cool looking third ability still looks amazing like i gotta say minikaze are just the, the i know neon blue would generally be something that is just just very annoying to look at but minikaze is it does all of the right things it looks so good the flashes look amazing and i do think the skin itself is very very nice the coming in eighth place is going to be narmaki ruby now narmaki ruby is going to be coming in eighth place simply because narmaki ruby is one of the better looking narmaki skins if not the best narmaki skin i do think that the light red aesthetic definitely fits very well and they actually did color things properly which is that you know it's very very nice considering sometimes they don't color things properly sometimes they forget to color things so i think just because it does look nice just because it is very unique from the other Narumakis. It definitely deserves to be on this list. And also, like, who doesn't like being a giant pink red thing flying across the map at the speed of light on a giant nine tails Karama? You know what I'm saying? Have you ever gotten 80 spin rarity and gotten something like just atomic? Well, that's because you haven't hit the like button in this video yet. If you hit the like button in this video, you're guaranteed to get 10 million times luck. 100 percent The coming in seventh place is gonna be the Dio Senko Rose. Now, Dio Senko Rose, obvious seventh place dude this thing looks amazing the actual eyes look amazing i don't actually have it leveled up unfortunately so i can't show you the second mode but trust me it looks really good maybe some could pop on the screen for you obviously with the rose everything is going to be recolored to red i do think that dio Seco is one of the better you know skinned versions to actually recreate because yeah giant pink bubble burst c-spec boom the c-spec burst y yeah it's really really good looking but i do think the ruby skin is the best of the dio Seco skins but i do actually really like dio azur it may pop up later in this video who knows maybe that's a spoiler everyone likes spoilers right and the company in sixth place is going to be the kabu cobra now this is the original sus glitch bloodline skin i do think that this is one of the most unique bloodline skins it's actually so unique to the point where i thought cobra looked like this it doesn't by the way the cobra looks a lot different maybe saboku could show that to you guys. But I do think that Cabra Cobra, it, it's just a really cool looking skin. I do uh, enjoy the white aesthetic. I do like the fact that it looks a lot different from the original. That's always a good thing when it looks a lot different from the original. Plus, you do have this amazing looking C-Spec. Yeah, Cabra Cobra hits, hits everything in the right place in my opinion. It's just, it is what it is. Cabra Cobra, good looking skin. We all love it. We all love the sus glitch. Now coming to fifth place, is going to be Fate. Now, Fate's going to be coming to fifth place because Fate is a extremely cool skin. I mean, the actual abilities you have you do get different looking abilities like they actually ch completely changed the skin to the point where it, i in my opinion i think it would have been cool being a, like you know how riser kuma and bankai kuma they're kind of like have the same sort of abilities but they're different i think fate and strange would be really cool to be like that it's not too late bro games it's a, an idea you know just rework fate a little bit to be a little bit different but the actual fate abilities they do change it so the ankh i think that's the i think that's the name of it if i'm wrong please correct me the actual ankh is there instead of the actual strain symbol which i think is very cool this skin visually i do think it's actually just significantly better than strange i do enjoy it i actually was one of the people rooting for a strange bloodline and i actually ended up enjoying the fate skin more they went hardcore in this fate skin and it actually does look extremely good in my opinion now coming to fourth place is going to be the zero glacier skin the newest skin in the game now there's not really much that's changed about this other than the mode itself but the actual abilities of shiro glacier are actually a lot different i mean not a lot different i mean the mode is the main thing that's changed 
changed. But the abilities are a darker blue, like the third ability, you could you could tell it's a lot different. Also, the, you do get the full dragon, the balls are dark blue. The weapon spec, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same. I I fought somebody using Shiro Glacier. The weapon spec is the same, but I do think the skin deserves a spot just because it is very unique from the original. Like you look at this, you're like, wow, you know, that's a skin. And I think that is the perfect representation of what a skin actually is in this game. And coming to third place is gonna be Ryan Azur. Now, Ryan Azur, this one is extremely biased. I'm just gonna say it ahead of time. This is biased. I love Ryan Azur. Ryan Azur is by far one of my favorite skins in the game. The actual abilities, I love the white white flames with the light blue aesthetic. I just love Ryan Azur is a skin done right. This is like it, I know Ryan Azur is just a color change, but the chroma is done so well. Like the actual just color change of the skin is great. I think the color change is so good in this that it is so unique from the original bloodline that you can 100% tell that this is a skin. And I think that is the pure essence of a skin. It should do that and this does it perfectly while also looking amazing the coming in second place is going to be the doku scorpion now doku scorpion solid second place bloodline right here you guys have already seen this skin a ton because i always use it instead of normal doku tengoku just because i think the yellow effects look a lot better than the blue effects and that's rare for me but i do think it looks better doku tengoku also got some buffs recently like the actual m1s don't knock back anymore which is really nice but the actual doku scorpion i do think that the yellow fits a lot better with it i do like the whole mortal Kombat bad thing also the th the actual counter did get a buff right here maybe he'll punch me he okay yep he's lagging and he's too late whatever they did get a buff the yellow aesthetic looks better you guys have seen this skin a million times if you watch my videos overall it's just a really good skin now honor much of one is going to be the ryuji platinum skin now i do think that this skin is actually really cool looking you basically go super saiyan up in here like kachow you know what i'm saying lightning mcqueen on them but there's not much that's changed other than the mode right you can easily doesn't really have that many visual effects in all honesty it's not a very a very visual bloodline but the actual mode is the main thing that's different i do think the mode is very cool it looks a lot different from the original oh uh, yeah purple dragons that's cool but the mode is the reason why it's going to be an honorable mentions now honor mention two is going to be dio azur now dio azur solid honorable mention two right here very 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 drippy i do think that it is like combative with dio Seca rose for being that skin but i definitely think that dio Seca rose does beat it out however dio azur still should not be left in the dust still looks looks amazing still looks great still looks drippy as ever by the guys what is your favorite bloodline skin in shindle life your tell comments below we'll be checking them out now this would not be a bloodline skin video without including the thing that doesn't look like me it does not look like me stop it i know you're already commenting about it it does not look like me stop it ob obi-wan Janobi, you know what i'm saying up in here but yeah this is obviously the best skin in the game i don't really need to explain why it's star wars in shindo life and it's a skin done super well even though the assets are you know they are taken from another game they did have another game called star life that's fine i think it's really cool i think it is by far one of the single best skins it is the best skin of the game in my opinion and i do think that the yoda chasing you around and all that stuff it's just really cool there's not there's not there's not really much else to say about it it's just a really cool skin it still maintains the aesthetic of the original ren goku while also adding a little bit of star wars and everyone loves star wars right so yeah there's not much to say about this it's just a really really good skin anyways guys that's actually be it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video remember to like subscribe and subscribe guys bye, -bye.